This screencast covers the features and functionality of the message list and it will demonstrate how you can use the message list to manage your email and do things like uh, deleting email, selecting email, forwarding and replying. And for this demonstration I'm going to be using Firefox 4 and the screen reader will be NVDA. The new Yahoo Mail provides a global keyboard shortcut for navigating to the message list at any time and that is the M key. So at any point in the application you can press M and you'll navigate directly to your inbox and focus will land on the first message in the message list. So I'm going to press the M key now. M checking dot 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 blank blank inbox table one message one unwrap Todd Clutes followed up conversation 945 p meter this email is not flagged row not selected one of twelve The list of messages in the inbox is structured as a table, and the order of the columns in each row is as follows. First, there's the uh, row that represents the message number. Secondly, the status is the message unread, replied to, forwarded, etc. Uh, third, the center of the message. Fourth, the subject of the message. Five, uh, the date uh, of the message. Uh, six, the attachments uh, column. And lastly is the flagged column, which basically indicates if the message has been flagged for follow-up. You can navigate the list of messages in the inbox um, using the up and down arrow keys. Um, and as a convenience, the uh, virtual cursor should be automatically toggled off for you by default. So you don't have to bypass the virtual cursor in order to press the up down arrow keys to navigate through the list of messages. Um, and as you navigate the message list, it's the rows of the table, not the cells that are focused. And so the screen reader should read the contents of each column in the row from left to right when a row is focused. So I'll demonstrate that for you now um, as I use the up and as I use the down arrow key to uh, move through the first few messages uh, in my inbox. Selected message one unwrapped Todd Clutes followed up conversation 945 p meter this email is not flagged row focused selected one of 12 message you replied Todd Clutes party this weekend 845 p meter this email is not flagged row two of 12 message three replied Facebook Stephanie Shump posted on your wall April 30th 2011 this email is not flagged row three of 12 By default, the currently focused row in the message list is also selected. And you can use the keyboard to actually co create contiguous or non-contiguous selections of messages uh, and act on them. For example, you can delete a, a group of messages or remove a group of messages. So uh, to create uh, a contiguous selection, you simply hold down the shift key while pressing uh, the up or down arrow key. So I'm going to select uh, a couple messages um, in a row simply by doing that. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and press the down arrow to select three messages in a row. Message one unwrapped Todd selected. Message to replied Todd Clutes party this weekend 845 p meter this email is not flagged row two of twelve. Message three replied Facebook Stephanie Shump posted on your wall. April 30th 2011 this email is not flagged row three of twelve. In addition to creating contiguous selections, you can also create non-contiguous selections of messages. To create a non-contiguous selection of messages, simply hold down the control key while pressing the up and down arrow keys. This will move focus but not selection through the message list. And as you navigate the message list, simply press the spacebar to select the message that currently has focus or deselect the message. Um, so I'll demonstrate that for you now. I'm going to just um, use the down arrow key while holding down the control key and I'm going to select um, just different parts of the message list. Selected message to reply Todd Clutes party this weekend 845 p meter this email is not flagged row not selected to of 12. Message 3 replied Facebook Stephanie Shump posted on your wall. April 30th, 2011, this email is not flagged, row not selected, 3 of 12. Okay, so I'm going to select this message uh, from Stephanie simply by pressing the space bar. Space selected. And you'll notice that the screen reader announces the change in the selected state by saying selected. 
and I'm going to uh, move down a few more messages and select another message. So I'll hold down control again and press the down arrow key. Message for Petrius Naughty. Did you sign the Royal Wedding Guest Book? Okay. Message 5 at Lee one. Brownie says hi April 29, 2011. This email is not flagged. Row not selected 5 of 12. Okay, I'm also going to select this message from my friend Addy simply again by pressing the space bar. Space. Space. Selected. Okay, and there you go. That's how we could create a non-contiguous selection of messages. To delete a message in your inbox, it's very simple. You simply press the delete key while um, you've selected a message. So I'll go through uh, the list of messages in my inbox and I'll um, delete uh, one or two. So I'm going to press the down arrow key to uh, move to the next message in my inbox. Message to replied Facebook Stephanie Shaw posted on your wall. April 30th, 2011. This email is not flagged. Row 2 of 11. Message 3. Petrius Naughty. Did you sign the Royal Wedding Guest Book? Okay, so here's a message uh, regarding signing the Royal, Re the Royal Wedding Guest Book. This is an old message now, so I want to delete it. I'm simply going to press the delete key. Inbox 10. Todd Klutz followed up conversation yesterday. Okay. When the message is deleted, um, the screen reader is just going to start uh, rereading uh, the, the inbox. And if I want to resume uh, navigating the inbox uh, and pick up where I left off, I can simply do that by pressing uh, the down arrow key. The applications list. Press the inbox table one. Message three. Eddie Lee Brow selected. Okay. So I'm back on. Uh, the third message, and I'll keep moving down. Message for Addie Lakron at the Children's Discovery Museum, April 29, 2011. This email is not flagged. Row 4 of 10. Okay, so um, I've actually found uh, another email I want to uh, delete, but I think there might be some more, so I'm going to press um, Shift uh, down arrow and select this email and the next email that follows it, because I think I'm going to delete the next one as well. Message 5H carried photos from the cooking class. April 29, 2011. This email is not flagged. Row 5 of 10. Okay, so I have two messages selected. Now I'm just going to press the delete key once again to delete these two messages. Inbox 8. Todd Klutz followed up conversation yesterday. 9.45 p.m. Facebook Stephanie. And that's how easy it is to delete email. You simply press the delete key. As a convenience, the keyboard shortcuts for replying or forwarding email are available to you while you're navigating the inbox. This means you don't have to open a message in order to reply or forward it. Um, while you're focused on a message, you can simply press the R keyboard shortcut to reply to the message or A to reply to everyone on the message or you can pr uh, press the F key to forward the message. So I'll demonstrate that for you now. I'm just going to navigate through the inbox, select a message and forward it. Selected. Message to replied Facebook Stephanie Shaw posted on your wall. Message 3 forwarded Abby Lee Brown. Message 4 unread Cindy Lee Week. Message 5 replied Andrew H. Time for spring skiing. Message 6 unread Jeff Reed Love an upcoming sock. Message 7 unread. Message 8 Ryan Should Elm Party October 19, 2010. This email is not flagged row 8 of 8. Okay, so I found a message I want to forward, so I'm just going to press the F key to forward it. F2. Combo box collapse has auto complete editable blank. Okay. And uh, focus has moved now to the to field of the compose window. So I'm just going to type in the email address of the person I want to forward this message to. T O doc L O T F at A O O M. Okay. And I'm just going to press Control Enter to send this message. Section Email sent done recipients Todd.clutes at yahoo.com. Messages in the inbox can be flagged, and flagging a message is a helpful reminder to follow up or to mark a message as a to-do. And the keyboard shortcuts for flagging a messages are L to flag and Shift L to unflag a message. And when the flag state of a message changes, the screen reader will re-announce the row um, with each column from left to right, and you'll hear the value of that flag column change once the email has been flagged or unflagged. So I'll demonstrate how to flag a message in the inbox. Um, currently, I have focus on one of the messages in the inbox. I'm going to um, press the L key to flag the message. L. Todd Klutz followed up conversation yesterday. 9.45 p.m. 
Message 1 on Rat Todd Clues followed up conversation yesterday. 9.45 p meter this email is flagged row not selected one bait. And you'll hear now the screener announcing that uh, message as flagged. To unflag it I'll just press shift plus L. L Todd Clutes followed up conversation yesterday. 9.45 p meters. Message 1 on Rat Todd Clutes followed up conversation yesterday. 9.45 p meter this email is not flagged row not selected one bait. And now you can hear the screener announce it as not being flagged. And that's how easy it is to flag or unflag a message.